Greetings to Internet citizens and welcome to Python training. In this tutorial, we are going to configure Atom editor into our operating system. So let's get started with that. First of all, you need to visit this URL which says atom.io. Now Atom is really a great IDE. IDE is integrated development environment. And as you can see that Atom is right here in front of us and its subtitle says a hackable text editor for 21st century. Well, here the hackable refers to that it is an open source text editor and you can make any changes into its code. And now I'd like to click on download for Mac. And the reason why we are choosing the Atom is that let me just save this file onto my desktop first. Okay, so it is downloading right here. So the reason why I have chosen the Atom as our text editor because it has a cross-platform approach and you can see that it has a lot of built-in package manager. So we can even configure the terminal into the same editor and you will not face any problem at all. And it has a great file browsing system. So due to the cross-platform approach, I have seen a lot of students saying that, sir, you are using Mac operating system and we are using Windows operating system. So are your codes are going to be compatible with our operating system? So you need not to worry about it. You, you just need to use Atom and you can see that you can use it on OS X, that is Mac operating system or Windows or Linux. So it has a cross-platform approach. So that is really a great deal out there and you can install a lot of packages, themes and you can even customize it and this is how it is going to look like. Also the great part is that it is developed by some GitHub folks and you can click on this link to see the whole source code of Atom on GitHub. So here is the whole source code of Atom so it is completely open source. Okay great enough. So let me minimize it and here is our Atom. Let me double click on it. So here is our Atom and let me just double click on it to install it. And as you can see that Atom is right in front of us and you are getting welcome screen, welcome guide that I would like to close everything that is right over here. And we just have an untitled text editor right in front of your screen. So the first thing that I would like to do is to just make a new folder for all the students right here and let me just rename it to exercise files and don't worry all this exercise files that I'll be using throughout the course will be made available to you into the resources. So I'm going to hit on exercise file and I have this folder right here and I'm going to save all my projects into this exercise files folder. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on view then under the developers pan I'm just going to click on to the open in developer mode and here I'm going to navigate onto the desktop and onto this exercise file I'm going to hit on open. Here you can see that the panel of exercise file is right in front of us. Great enough and we can even resize it. So all the files will be right here. You can close rest of the things right here. Okay, great enough. Now we just have a panel saying exercise files. So what I can do is that I can create my first Python file by right clicking on here and just going on to the new files. And let me just save this file as first file.py and let me hit enter. And as you can see that first underscore file dot py is right here. Let's have a look at this file. And okay, so my first Python file is right here. And as you can see that the extension is dot py and the name written on this file is Python. Great enough. So now let me just write here as print as you have noticed that automatically just by left hand side small brackets right hand side small brackets has automatically ap appeared up right in front of you. So this is the beauty of Atom. It is intelligent enough. So under the double quotes let me just write here as greetings to internet citizens. So yes Python is this much easy you just need to write print and into the smaller brackets 
under the quotes you need to write the name or you can say any statement that you wish to print and it will get printed so let me hit on Control plus s to save it or let me just save it onto the desktop and under the exercise file and let me just rename it with first underscore file dot py we haven't yet opened up this file that's why it is just replacing it so let's just replace it okay great enough now we have successfully written this line but now the problem while configuring it is that we can run it into the terminal but that would not be a great thing right there what i can do is that we can get the whole terminal right into the atom well that's really nice right so what i can do is that i can go under the packages and here i need to go under the setting view and under the setting view i need to click on open and then i need to hit on install and here I need to search for a package to get the terminal and the name of that package is platformio-ide-terminal. Okay, so it is right here. What you need to do is that you just need to click on install and this may take several minutes. And after successfully installing it, you will observe a plus sign over here which says new terminal. So, okay, I'm done with it. I can just close this tab now. And what I can do is that I can click on this plus sign and as you can see that my terminal is right here. And if you will observe it more then you can see that it has navigated under my exercise file directory automatically. Okay, great enough. Now to get the output, let me just save it. And here I need to write here as python3 space and the name of my file that is first underscore file dot py and let me just hit enter and as you can see that greetings to internet citizens has successfully printed into our terminal so this is the best practice to learn python and the reason why i have selected atom as my editor to teach you people is that it has a cross-platform approach Everything is now sorted from terminal to a text editor. So that's how you configure everything into the Python and we are all set up. And from the next section, we will start learning all about the Python codes. So congratulations for setting up your Python related environment. That's it for this movie and thank you so much for watching.